remember when the one year I was a student sitting in class and watching, you know, all the camperos come in and just being so starstruck, you know, and I couldn't believe I was in a room with them. They were just this big famous group that I looked up to so much. Our teachers really took the time to do that little one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, we felt intimidated. We were kind of new to this and um, they, the teachers really took the one-on-one -on -one time to say, you know, hey, you can do this, you know, you got this. Just looking around, I was scared, I was terrified, because Maria Chivargas is Maria Chivargas. So I remember being very scared, but as well being very happy and excited, because I knew they were going to be teaching us. And that was an honor. That year I had a fun experience where, during the Friday jam sessions, um, everybody comes together and uh, uh, Jesus Guzman, Chuy Guzman, asked if uh, anybody wanted to sing Viva Veracruz. And me being the guy, I had no idea who he was because I was so young. I waved my hand in the air and he gave me the microphone and they all just kind of snowballed from there. Um, I was just so wrapped up in the music and so, you know, concentrating so much on the music. I remember um, leaning forward and trying to look at, at some music where I just fell and actually took a few stands with me. I've never heard a professional, a real, real professional group like Camperos, and I remember the first, the first thing they did was um, El Burro, which is a, which a pretty good song, and I've never heard it anything like that, and they actually does like a donkey noise during the song, so I've never heard anything like that. I was so impressed. It's probably the, the most, like, the thing I look forward to the most every year, other than Christmas. <laughs> With the Changos, um, you know, we played just a very traditional song. We played the beginning of La Negra uh, for our sound check, and just the crowd just started cheering really loud, and the curtain was down. But they heard La Negra and they just started roaring, and I remember getting the chills and my hands got real sweaty and I was kind of nervous after that. Each step I took up to the stage for them to call my name and for them to, for me to go out there, I almost felt like I was going to faint. But within a couple of seconds, the crowd was, once they said my name, and the crowd was so inviting and, and you know, at, at Armory Park, I remember it very clearly. And it, it was a biggest dream of my lifetime from that age that had come true. From that point when I started seeing that, everyone knew who I was. Everyone automatically was just like, oh, you're the kid that sings my way from Pueblo. I was nervous and I remember everybody laughed because my mom said they thought I was cute or something. And I thought they were laughing at me. And I started out when I got off stage, I started crying because I thought they were laughing at me. It's really humbled me as a musician, you know, seeing people come around from all over and all doing this for one reason, you know, just the passion of mariachi. The whole conference is for everybody to have a learning experience, the people that participate and the people that go and watch. I think that um, maybe even principals and um, people from the school board should come out and see what the conference does and how it could, you know, help their, their school in particular. It's awesome to see all this young talent and just the tradition that continues. I mean, I, I even sometimes get goosebumps or even my, my throat gets knotted up, you know, when I see these little kids and how much they just love this music that's, you know, it's a, it's a tradition that's going to continue and you see it, you see the evidence that it is going to continue because these kids have it in their blood and you just see they want it. 